Yeah, I mean, I've worked at a bunch of different companies, places that don't have any SSO integrations, places that use Okta. You know, I'm, I'm not unfamiliar with the sort of philosophy of it. Um, it makes, I think, just a lot of sense, uh, especially when you have a very dynamic staff. So um, it wasn't a hard sell. I don't know, Riley, if you remember the integration process. I do not. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so they were already using 365. Uh, dealing with that part of the import and onboarding process was pretty seamless. Um, it took a bit of internal politics and convincing to enable federation, right? The point of federation being that we wanted to move MFA from Microsoft over to JumpCloud um, because we didn't want we didn't want MFA to stop at Microsoft and we also didn't want people to have to manage 15 different 20 different MFA keys um, and convincing people to use MFA is harder than it should be and uh, by, by lowering that bar of entry, by making it easier for the end users to just, just jump out, it's like, just worry about MFA there, um, we were able to kind of tighten security across the board. So after Microsoft was done, which was pretty easy, um, Google came next. They weren't using Google, so that one was really easy. It was like, hey, now you can use Google. Um, and all of the other ones have come in organically over time where we've basically been pushing department by department, tool by tool to say, hey, is it connected yet? And if it's not, let's connect it. Um, and there are tools that are in use there that have been in use for two years where we're only now getting around to doing it because there's they've been a busy company and it's just not been the priority. And there are other places where uh, like the park has now been open four months, something like that, five months? Three to three and a half months. Three and a half months. So yeah. the park's not been open for <laughs> long. Um, and access control is one that uh, was integrated basically just as the park was opening. Um, so there's things that are continuing to get added. There were things that were added as recently as last week. It's a constantly growing uh, scope. I think something that I'll say was, well, I'll say two things. A lot, a lot of the stuff that we use just didn't have MFA into, it just didn't, it wasn't like possible to bind to jump cloud. Um, we use a lot of like startup tools that, um, you know, it's not like a big thing like Google, it's a smaller software and, or a smaller service. And so a lot of times we're like, can this, you know, bind to jump cloud and they say no, but then they'll roll out updates later and then we're able to, to add it. Um, something that has surprised me, uh, um, sort of the only negative surprise I think is it's always shocking to me how expensive it is. To, you know, if we're paying, you know, a couple grand for the software, sometimes it's up to like $700 just for the uh, MFA integration. Um, so I think that's just something for customers to be aware of. Um, you know, I don't think we thought like, oh, like deciding to do this is going to cost like X number of thousands of dollars extra every year. I think the cost is well worth it, but um, especially when you don't consider that as part of your initial consideration of a tool um, to go back later and say, oh, like, hey, department, you budgeted to spend this amount on this tool. And now I, as your IT person, is am telling you, you need to spend another X number of dollars on it, which sometimes can be like a pretty substantial by percent overage. Um, that's the, that is the sticking point. Like no one is ever frustrated by using the tool. It's always making their lives easier, but that can be a hard conversation to have when you can't quantify why it is worth that amount of money. Catherine's not talking about the price at JumpCloud. Oh yeah, it's that's the price true. at service providers. It's when you're looking to integrate. If you are looking at Dropbox, you can't use a SAML authentication until you jump up to their more expensive plan. Got at it. at Asana, you can you have to jump to Enterprise before they let you do it. Same with with Adobe. Other per, the service providers are making SAML a premium feature, which it shouldn't be. It should definitely be a business feature. It should be like more accessible, but it's at the service providers where uh, in order to open up the SAML feature, you have to jump into their, their usually their highest tier. 
All right. So it just like adds, it like balloons very quickly. Like if you add up all the 10 different things that we're using Jump Cloud for, now all of a sudden you've spent you know, some number of thousands of dollars that you didn't necessarily consider when you were like, yes, I will pay for Jump Cloud. Please subscribe and check out more content from us.